There are about $100 million in unclaimed scholarships each year simply because a lot of students don't know they exist. So you have all this money looking for students and students look for the money, they can't find each other. That's why I decided to create Scholarly. During high school, I was actually homeless. I was actually getting ready to go to college right when the recession hit, so my mom lost her job, and a lot of people in my family lost their jobs, so we had nothing. I was also the first in my family to go to college, so I had no guidance there, um, and I wasn't in one of the best school systems, so I had to make do. So I had to find scholarships, really my only option. I was able to find Scholarly basically through pitch competitions. My university had a lot of pitch grant competitions. And I actually won close to around $100,000 in grant money to start the company through just pitching the idea and really making it work. And that was, I was able to do that because I, because I, couldn't, I didn't have the money myself. It was a great experience and they had me send in an audition tape and a month later so they called me and said, hey, we love your story, we love your company, we love to have you on the show. And then I flew out to LA and the rest is, you know, history. Right after I aired, they introduced me to the White House. I met Obama and Michelle the same day. <laughs> and that opened up the door for a ton of partnerships we have today, because I was at this event at the White House with all the other powerful people, who actually, a lot of them who just saw me on Shark Tank, like, I just saw you, because the episode went viral, like, I just saw you. Our app went up to number one in the app store, so people had it. When originally I started at Scholarly, it was just focused on helping people find money for college. And then we realized that, oh, wow, well, finding people money for college is one thing, but a lot of students aren't even being successful to even get to that point, especially under students in underserved communities like where I'm from. And we also now have an AI platform that also students can use to instantly proofread any of their essays, their college essays, their resumes, papers, any writing assignment they have, in order to, act, to actually help them with that process even more. My goal is like to be like this Amazon Prime, but for education or Netflix for education, where these three products, we just charge you $4.99 a month. But math tutor would cost you like on average $60 an hour. Oftentimes, the impact of the product is a reflection of the founder themselves. So what I really want to do is really make Scholarly accessible and build a brand that, you know, from an education perspective, that's into synonymous college board. So I want our brand to touch more people, and I, and, and I want us to be known for really making technology accessible as everyone. And I want to do that, especially as a black founder who came from poverty. So I think that I have a unique perspective that I'm able to have in my product and because I'm at the top of my organization, I can ensure that every product, every design, everything we do reflects access and an opportunity for all.